ordinary differential equations of first order. So before going to discuss about the ordinary differential equation of first order, first of all we need to know what is differential equation. We represent that one simply d. What is a differential equation? We write like this. D means differential equation. Simply in one word what we can say, an equation which involves derivatives. An equation which involves derivatives is called differential equations. But how the derivatives in the DE, basing on that, the differential equation is classified into two types. One is ordinary differential equation, another one is partial differential equation. So here, the actual definition of differential equation is, an equation which involves derivatives of dependent variable with respect to one or more independent variables. That is called differential equation. What I am saying? An equation which involves derivatives. An equation which contains or which involves derivatives. How the derivatives will be? derivatives of dependent variable dependent variable or variables with respect to with respect to one or more independent variables one or more independent variables is called DE is called differential equation an equation which involves derivatives of dependent variable with respect to one or more, basing on one independent variable derivatives are having or more than one independent variable derivatives are having, on that basis, differential equation is classified into two types. These are two types. One is, one is, ordinary differential equation ordinary differential equation ordinary differential equation means we represent this one simply simply od another one partial differential equation partial differential equation we call this one as PDE, ordinary differential equation, partial differential equation. Now our discussion is ordinary. Even though ordinary, we will uh, define what is PDE also. Coming to the first one, what is ordinary differential equation? What is ODE? So ODE is one type of differential equation. An equation which involves dependent derivatives of dependent variable with respect to only one independent variable, like this. An equation which involves derivatives, which contains derivatives, which contains derivatives of dependent variable, one dependent, only one dependent variable with respect to only one independent variable, this is uh, highlighted. One independent, one dependent and one independent. That type of D is called ordinary differential equation, like this. Examples, we can uh, write example like this. D square y by dx square plus 3 into dy by dx plus 2y equal to e power x. A ordinary differential equation because the dependent variable is y. Independent is only one, that is x. Independent variable is only one variable which is x only. One independent variable, one dependent. We call that one as ordinary differential equation. Like this also. dy by dx equal to x square plus y square by 2xy. This is another example for ordinary D. Only one independent. 
But coming to partial differential equation, an equation which contains derivatives, an equation which contains derivatives, derivatives of dependent variable, dependent variable with respect to two or more independent variables, two or more independent variables. Two or more independent variables. This is our identity. Not one independent variable. More than one. These type of equations. We use partial uh, derivatives. Do do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square plus do square u by do z square equal to one or zero like that. You will find some differential equations. Here, if you observe, numerator 1, this one we call it as dependent variable. The denominator variables x, y, z are called independent. Here, the number of independent variables are 1, 2, 3. Three independent variables. Only one dependent. Coming to ordinary differential equation, one dependent, one independent. Independent variable should be one here, but here, independent variables are two, at least two, or more than two. That type of differential equation we call it partial differential equation. Now our concept is not this one, ordinary differential equation. Even though it is ordinary DE or partial differential equation, the order and degree are same. If we define the order of ODE, the same definition for PD. That's why what I am saying, order of DE. Because we are going to discuss Ordinary differential equation of first order. So to know what is ordinary differential equation of first order, first of all you need to know what is DE of order of the DE. So that I am discussing. Order of DE. What is order? Here DE means that may be ODE or that may be PDE. Here DE, the order is same. The definition. Finding order. The highest order derivative highest to order derivative involved in the D. Highest to order derivative in the D. In given differential equation, what is highest to order? Coming to here, we are having two examples, three, four examples are there, we will decide what is order. Coming to here, here two order derivatives we are having. Derivative of y with respect to x, this is the first order because one. This is second order derivative of y with respect to x. First order derivative, second order derivative. What is the highest order derivative of y in the DE? E is second order. That's why the order of this differential equation is order of this DE is 2. Order of DE is 2. Coming to this one, here the only one derivative we are having, only one derivative we are having, the order of that derivative is first order, dy by dx. First order derivative of y with respect to x. The highest order derivative in this is only 1, that is 1 only. So, order for this d is 1. So, coming to here also, the highest order derivative involved in the PD. Second order only, all are second order derivatives. Second order partial derivative of u, second order partial derivative of u. So, order for this is 2. But, what is degree? Degree of d. The exponent of highest order derivative. Exponent of highest order derivative. The exponent of highest order derivative. So if you find the highest order derivative in the differential equation, what is its exponent that comes under degree? So let us come back to our example, this one. d square y by dx square plus 3 into d y by dx plus 2y. Here, 
we know highest order derivative is this one what is the highest order derivative exponent whole power how much you are having you don't find any number means there you are having one the highest order derivative exponent is degree so first differential equation degree is one the second one also if you observe the highest order derivative exponent we don't find anything so degree is one for this also highest order derivative is rho square u by rho x square its exponent is one only so degree will be one now our discussion will be these type of differential equations this is our concept first order ordinary differential equation and also we are going to discuss first degree only first order and first degree these type of differential equation how we are going to solve these type of differential equations what is its general solution in how many forms a first order first degree d exist that we are going to discuss in first order ordinary differential equations okay any doubts you may express what is differential equation what is ode what is pde order of the de degree of the de order means highest derivative degree means exponent of highest order here we need to concentrate much on order because we are going to discuss only first order ordinary differential equation that means dy by dx only we should have we should not have d square by by dx square dq by by dx cube okay first order first degree ordinary differential equations we discussed already what is order and degree of ordinary differential equation order is highest order derivative involved in the differential equation is order the exponent of highest order derivative is degree so now we are going to discuss the first order and first degree differential equation generally the first order first degree differential equation will be in this form a d of the form a d d means differential equation a d of the form d by by d x equal to f of x y is called is called first order first degree ordinary differential equation o d e so a differential equation which is in this form dy by dx f of x y because the highest order derivative involved in this d is dy by dx x order is 1 and the exponent of this derivative is 1 only we don't have dy by dx whole square dy by dx whole cube if you have dy by dx whole square order is 1 degree is 2 so here we should not have whole square because our discussion is first degree first order order should be 1 degree should be 1 that means we should have dy by dx only we should have dy by dx in given differential equation except dy by dx you should not have any other derivatives only one derivative of y with respect to x that is first order and first degree so this is the general form of first order first degree ordinary differential equation but this may exist in so many forms this may exist which one first order first degree degree d this may exist in following forms in following forms or following types these are the types of first order first degree de. the first one is variable separable form or variable separable type variable separable form next one homogeneous homogeneous and reducible to homogeneous homogeneous de which are not homogeneous but they can be reduced to homogeneous next one exact differential equation 
and reducible to exact. That means they are not exact B, they can be reduced to exact. Fourth one, linear differential equation and Bernoulli differential equation. So these are the types of DEs in first order and first degree. The first order first degree DE may be in these forms. If you separate, you will get more number of forms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, totally 5, linear and bedroom. Now we are going to discuss in first order and first degree differential equation, what is variable separable form of the DE how it can be solved, how to identify the DE is in variable separable form, how to solve it. In a similar manner, we are going to discuss in detail about every type of first order first degree DE. So coming to the first one, variable separable form. Variable separable form of the DE. Variable separable form of the DE. If the ordinary differential equation is in this form, first order first degree D, a first order first degree D is like this dy by dx equal to f of x by g of y. A first order first degree DE is in this form dy by dx equal to f of x by g of y form is dy by dx equal to f of x by g of y form then it is in variable separable form then it is in variable separable what I am saying if you can separate x terms and y terms in the given first order D, you can call it variable separable. So here, you can take g of y to this side, then g of y dy, y terms will be one side. You can get dx to that side, f of x dx, x terms will be another side. So separating variables, x terms one side, y terms another side. If you can separate x terms separately and y terms separately from the given first order DE, then we call that one as variable separable. Name itself says many. Name itself says variable separable. If you can separate the two variables which you are having in the first order DE. First order ordinary differential equation contains only two variables. One dependent, one independent. The two variables, if you can separate, we call that first order first degree DE is in variable separable form. If the given first order first degree DE is in variable separable form, what is its general solution? GS. General solution is like this you need to separate integral G of Y into DY equal to integral f of x into dx plus c. So this is the first order, first degree, variable separable form, ordinary differential equation, general solution. g of y dy, that means separating y and separating x, simply integrate, you will get the general solution. Very easy form, very simple form in first order and first degree DE which every one can easily identify the given first order first degree differential equation is in variable separable form. Because where you can easily separate x terms and y terms. If you can separate, then we call that one is in variable separable form. We will discuss few problems on variable separable to know how we are going to separate, how we are going to find general solution. Okay, this is also important for short answer. We may expect one problem from variable separable for short answer questions.